Good afternoon. Uh, one of the great questions uh, today uh, dealing with salvation is uh, to find is the question, how can I know if I'm saved? And uh, many of the people out there today are running around uh, are saying that uh, you can't know you're saved by your works. And in one sense, this is true, but in the other sense, it's false. There is a way to tell if you are saved uh, that God wants you to know and God is very specific about. It is by God's discipline. The fact is, uh, while producing good works may not tell you you're saved, not producing them will tell you that you're not saved. Every Christian should be producing good works. It should, should be filled with the Holy Spirit. And uh, that will produce good works through the Holy Spirit. So there is God isn't uh, doesn't get you saved, doesn't uh, save you, and uh, then just ignore you and just let you go and say, uh, okay, you all you can go and do what you want to do. You're a son of God, and God will discipline you, and you're out of fellowship. Of course, this view that God somehow just allows you to walk off on your own uh, for the rest of your life or live any way you want is a view that uh, is used to attack those who believe in eternal security. The fact is God will discipline you right up to shortening your life and have the sin unto death and bring you home early. And that's what he does to his children. And Hebrews 12 is very clear about that. And it says here, uh, let's see, uh, verse 4, 12, 4. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourges every son he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. But what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, then whereof all you are partakers, then ye are bastards and not sons. Furthermore, we have fathers, fathers in our flesh which corrected us, who gave them reverence. Shall we not much, uh, much rather be in subjective? subjection until the father of spirits and lives for they verily for a few days chastened us uh, after their own pleasure but be he for our profit that we may be partakers of his holiness now no ch chast chastening if for the present uh, seemeth to be joyous but grievous nevertheless afterward it yieldeth the peaceful fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby wherefore lift up your hands which hang down and the feeble knees and make straight paths for your feet, with your for your feet, lest which was lame be turned out of the way, but let it rather be healed. So the fact is, is that uh, if you're not being disciplined when you get out of fellowship for not producing works, that is a sign that God is uh, that you have a relationship with God. Unbelievers are not uh, disciplined by God uh, directly. There's a there's a system set in place to uh, discipline them. Uh, through their own uh, actions, but the reality is, is that so when those, those people, when people are telling you that uh, when, after you're saved, your works make no difference uh, in knowing if you're saved or not, they're telling a partial truth. The fact of the matter is, if you're not producing fruit, uh, uh, God deals with you uh, as such as a son, <clears throat> and will discipline you accordingly. So if you're out there and you're not getting disciplined by God. Uh, out in the world, if you're out in the world and you're not getting disciplined by God, that is a sign to, uh, to check your salvation. Now, you may be saved. Uh, you may have just hardened to a point where you're indifferent to discipline. In that case, you're very close to the sin unto death. Uh, Paul talks about this again in 1 Corinthians 11, where those were taking the uh, Lord's, Lord's Supper. <coughs> Let's see here. Uh, and verse, uh, and that was Hebrews 12. I don't know if I said it was that. Hebrews 12, I, I read there before. Um, verse, uh, uh, let's see, verse 27. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the uh, of the body and blood of the Lord. For let a man examine himself, and so let him eat, eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, he eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's uh, body. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we judge ourselves, we should not be judged. And as we use 1 John 1, 9, where you confess your sins, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. <clears throat> so that's, that's where you uh, we establish uh, your relationship with the Holy Spirit. But clearly here in 1 Corinthians 11, there were many weak 
uh, and uh, many are sick, sickly and some sleep. Very often the uh, uh, ailments that affect the Christian and their health. Not always. Not always. Sometimes uh, there's legitimate reasons for being sick. And uh, uh, sometimes the sickness is actually just a test to, to strengthen the believer. But there are times when sickness uh, is a, uh, a discipline. And uh, the fact is also many Christians die early, young, <coughs> because uh, they are not producing uh, the fruit uh, that God intended them to produce. So uh, the fact is that uh, the Christian can gauge uh, his uh, relationship with God by his works, not by producing the works per se, but by not producing them. Uh, discipline from God is a sure indication uh, that you are a son, and uh, that is why uh, really we're supposed to rejoice in discipline. The fact that that tells us, well, yes, uh, that we are truly God's uh, children, and God is not going to allow us to continue uh, to walk in sin. So, if you're in a sin state and you've been in a sin state for uh, a while, and uh, you're not getting uh, God's discipline, and you don't feel God uh, working on you, uh, then you need to check if you're saved. So, there is an objective standard. To check if you're saved, and uh, you can be producing good, good works according to uh, uh, the world standard from uh, fleshly reasons, but you can't fake God's discipline. God's discipline will make it very real that uh, you are not producing the fruits of the Spirit, which is from being filled with the Holy Spirit. So works do have uh, an issue, uh, uh, a, uh, a role to play in discovering uh, and, and giving the confidence that you are saved truly saved, saved Christian, uh, not so much in a positive sense, but in a negative sense. And that's what people don't want to talk about. They don't want to talk about the discipline side, the fact that if you don't produce works, if you're not producing the fruit of the Spirit, uh, the, uh, and, and, and therefore we're out of fellowship with God and quenching and grieving the Holy Spirit, God will deal with you accordingly and uh, you will face his, uh, his, his, uh, his punishment as a child. And, uh, uh, if you continue to resist uh, that punishment and uh, his uh, admonitions, uh, admonitions to uh, return to him, uh, he will just simply shorten your life, as it says in First John five. So I want the, the people out there tell you that uh, uh, you can be saved, uh, have eternal security, and then act, live any way you want, uh, and God will uh, will not be dealing with you. Uh, God will deal with you, and if He's not dealing with you, then you need to check. Uh, to see if you truly are saved and what you believe for salvation. There are many false gospels out there that are people telling you what the uh, crossless gospel uh, or uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, Lordship salvation. Uh, there are many false gospels out there that are deceiving people and uh, people think they, they believe these they believe the true gospel, but uh, they're not uh, uh, producing the fruit. And if they're not producing your fruit, they should be receiving discipline from God. If they're not receiving discipline from God for not producing fruit, then in fact you believe the false gospel and you need to go back and read the Bible and see the true gospel, which is to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, that he died for your sins on the cross, was buried, and rose again on the third day. Anything less than that, <clears throat> anything other than that, is a false gospel, which Paul says, uh, anyone who preaches that, uh, a, a false gospel, uh, is accursed. Amen. Thank you.